Hi and welcome back. Now in this chapter we are going to be looking at Azure Log Analytics. So first what we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and create something known as a Log Analytics Workspace. So this can be used to store the logs from various resources. So let me go ahead and search for Log Analytics. Let me go ahead and choose that. Let me hit on create. So I'll give a name for the Log Analytics Workspace. I'll choose my resource group. I'll choose my location as Central US. I'll choose the pricing tier as a pay as you go. And let me click on OK. So now I'm going ahead and first deploying a Log Analytics Workspace. Now once you have a Log Analytics Workspace in place, if you go on to the Workspace itself. So there are a lot of things that you can actually do with the Workspace. Now what we are going to do in this Log Analytics Workspace is that we are going to log data from a virtual machine on this particular Workspace. So first what we are going to do is that we are going to go ahead on to the virtual machine section over here. So here you can specify the different Workspace data sources. So here I have two virtual machines that I have running. Now let me go ahead onto any virtual machine. Note that both of these are not connected. Now in order for data to flow from a resource onto the Log Analytics Workspace, you first have to go ahead and connect that resource onto the Log Analytics Workspace. So we can go ahead and choose a virtual machine and then click on connect. Now when you do this, basically an extension is going to be installed on the virtual machine and that extension is going to connect to our Log Analytics Workspace. Now once your virtual machine is connected, if you go on to the workspace, so we can see that your virtual machine is now connected to this Log Analytics Workspace. The next thing is to go ahead and define what is the data that you want to collect. So for that, we have to go on to Advanced Settings. So here you can first see your connected sources. So you can not only connect your virtual machines which you have in Azure. If you have any virtual machines in your on-premise environment, you can go ahead and download the agents and ensure that those servers are connected onto the Log Analytics Workspace. Over here, you need to go ahead and use the Workspace ID and the key to install the agent. And here you can see you can do this for both Windows servers and Linux servers. Now if I go on to data, this is where you can actually define what is the data that you want to collect. So if you go on to the event logs, so over here you can define what are the event logs you want to basically save in the Log Analytics Workspace. So let's say I search for system, so I could choose system. I could click on add over here. So now this will go ahead and ensure all of the errors, the warnings and the information from the Windows server. So you could have multiple Azure virtual machines connected to the Log Analytics workspace. And here all the messages from the system event logs will be recorded onto the Log Analytics workspace. We can go ahead and click on save. So this configuration was saved. Now I could also go ahead and collect Windows performance counters. So let me go ahead and choose some of the counters to record. So I'm just going ahead and selecting some of the counters. I'll go ahead and add the selected performance counters. So here you can see the sample interval that these counter values will be recorded. Again, you can go ahead and click on save. And now you can also see you can collect performance counters from Linux machines. You can collect IS logs, custom fields and custom logs. And you can also collect logs from Linux virtual machines via syslog. Now after some time, we now go on to logs. So remember we've gone ahead and connected our virtual machine and we've also gone ahead and selected our data which we need to collect. So over here we now get a data explorer in which we can write our queries. So on the left hand side you can see all of these tables which you have in place. So if I go ahead and choose the event table and just click on run. So now you can see all of the data that's being collected from our Vizlab VM virtual machine. 
So if you go on to the record itself, you can see all of the details of the record. So now all the events from the system events is now being recorded onto our log analytics workspace. Right, so this marks the end of this lab. For more details, check the link given in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success certified.